Hey guys, welcome back and Smith from Backbench Coder. Again, trying to be cool but never actually works. Anyway, this is the part where we are going to deploy our React app to Firebase using GitHub Actions. So it will be a CI-CD pipeline means everything from the build to deployment will be an automation process. Now if you are following this project from the beginning, then you might have noticed that I need to refactor our code, like we need to fix the layout, the sidebar styles, the title, favicon and all these stuff. But to be honest, that is not a big deal and I am gonna do that in the next part of this project which will also be the last part of this project. So in this section, let's focus on the deployment. Once we set up the CI-CD pipeline, then it's just a one line of comment to build, test and deploy. It's it's a magic. Believe me, it's a magic. Okay, so what is GitHub Action? GitHub Action is a tool to enable the software development lifecycle workflow inside your GitHub repository. Now what is this software development lifecycle or SDLC? You don't need to know the definition. But what you need to know is, there are three fundamental parts inside the software development lifecycle. First one is implementation, so writing the code. Second one is testing the product, so using unit testing or some other testing tools. And then the third one is deployment. That's it. The CI-CD pipeline architecture just connect all these three steps so that the process can be automated. Okay, so that's all for SDLC, Software Development Lifecycle. Now what is workflow? Let's define this workflow. So basically the workflow is a set of jobs that can be run automatically on certain events. Now notice that there are two fundamental terms in this definition. One is jobs and then the second one is on certain events. So basically every workflow file has two parts. One is on and then the second one is jobs. So what is on? Basically on means when to trigger the jobs. For example, if I push my code to the main branch, I want to trigger a job. So for on, this is if I push my code to the main branch and then what are the jobs? The jobs means what to do. So if I push my code to the main branch, I want to test the app on Ubuntu container. This is the job. That's it. And then you can see these steps. Inside these jobs, I have these steps. Steps means set of tasks to complete the job. For example, run a comment to install the npm packages and then use some action template which is already available in our github marketplace. If it seems confusing, don't worry, I am gonna write a workflow file from the scratch. So just get an idea about these terms like this workflow on jobs, steps and anything important. Yep, this workflow file is nothing but a YML file which should be located inside this github slash workflows folder. The name of the file does not really matter like main.eml, deploy.eml or whitehead.junior.eml, whatever you want. And then for the steps, these steps can be run parallelly or sequentially based on a condition. So if you specify a condition, it will run sequentially, else it will run parallelly by default. Okay, anything else? Mm, not really. Okay, so let's look at this. So how we are going to configure our workflow file in our app. So basically again, the workflow file is has a two part which is on and the jobs. On means when to trigger and the jobs means what to do. So in our app, we want to trigger our jobs when we push our code to the main branch. The main branch normally contains the clean code, okay? And then the jobs, what we want? We want to build our React app and then deploy it to the Firebase. That's our jobs. And again, every jobs has some steps. So what are the steps? So the first one is bring the source code to the container. Now what is this? So basically every workflow file creates a separate container. Now what is the container? Container is nothing but a virtual environment. If you are familiar with a Python project, so every time you create a new Python project, you should create a new Python virtual environment. The container is the same as the virtual environment. So inside that container, you need to copy all the source code which is located in your main branch. So you need to copy that code and put that into the container. And then the second step is install the node inside the container, which is obvious because this is a node environment project and we need to install the node.js so that we can install the dependencies, we can build our app and all these stuff. Cool. And then the third one is install the dependencies because remember we are not pushing our node modules in our github repository so we need to install our dependencies through the package.json and the command is npm install that's it the fourth one is we need to build our react app so again npm run build cool and the last step is deploy the build folder to the firebase that's it that's all our workflow file that's all our steps jobs and on and let's try to write a workflow file but before that, we need to set up our Firebase deployment. So just go to your terminal, go to your project directory and install the Firebase tools. So just run npm my-g Firebase tools. This will install the Firebase CLI in your machine. Cool. I have already installed that. Okay. So first of all, you need to get the Firebase token. So for that, just write the command Firebase login CI. Make sure you are in the right directory. I mean in your project directory. So login CI and enter. 
it will open a link in your browser come on come on come on come on here it is mm -mm. just sign in with your account which one is mine mm, i guess this one i don't know like i have around 12 email id click on allow and here it is firebase cli login successful and now just go to your cli and copy the firebase token this one this long token just copy this go to your github repo now i guess you already have a github repo if you don't have that just create a github repo and connect a github repo with your app now i guess you have a repo come on i can guess that this is my github repo just go to the settings we need to create an environment secret cause we don't want to expose our firebase token to the world so just create a secret mm, scroll down click on the secrets okay click on this new repository secret cool put the value here and what is the name name is firebase token all in caps firebase token cool click on this add secret and scroll down look at this firebase token nice now just go back to your cli let's set up the firebase deployment so firebase init write the comment firebase init mm, let me make this larger cool are you ready to proceed yes now what are the services i want to use i only want to use the hosting so using the down arrow go to the hosting press space and enter cool and then please select an option which is use an existing project yes i already have a project what is the name of the project uh, not yt what do you want to use as your public directory this is build so build enter configure as a single page application no cause our react app will take care of this single page application so don't worry press no cool and that's it at this point you should see two files which are firebase.json and then the second one is firebase rc so just go to your code yes this is my code go to the not youtube hey yep okay so i have this firebase.json i have this firebase rc nice we don't need to touch these files so close this one cool now let's create a workflow file so again remember this one we need to create a yaml file located in the dot github slash workflows folder so let's go to the code inside this root folder let's create a new folder named dot github inside the dot github folder let's create another folder which is workflows oops folder bro workflows cool inside this workflows folder let's create a yaml file the name of the yaml file does not really matter so this is main.yml cool so close the sidebar nice so again every workflow file has two main parts one is on and then the second one is jobs so let's put on and then the second one is jobs so let's configure this on so when to trigger the jobs we want to trigger the jobs when we push it to the main branch so under the on put a tab push inside this yaml file the indentation is must so inside the push we want to listen to some branches so branch oops branches it's an array so i want to listen to the main branch cool that's it that's all for the on and what about the jobs what do you want to do so inside this jobs we need to specify an id the job id this should be unique so in this case this is deploy okay so inside this job you can press a tab we can actually define a name this name is optional but will make this code more readable so name let's name this build and deployment nice next we need to define a runner a runner means on which environment you want these jobs to be run as simple as that so runs on let's make this ubuntu it does not really matter in our case so ubuntu latest that is cool and now remember inside these jobs there are some steps so steps so inside these steps the first step is get the source code into the container so again we can define a name of this step which is optional so the name is get the source code just to make this more readable get the source code cool now inside this step we want to use an accent which is already available in our github marketplace let me show you look at this this is accent slash checkout i'll put the link in the description box so you can check this out look at the description the accent checks out your repository under the github workspace that's what we want we want to copy all our code into the container look at this the way we can use this is using this uses keyword so just copy this one uses accent slash checkout version 2 put it here maintain the indentation 
just put a tab cool that's it that's my first step ready and the second step just copy this as this is an array put it here up oh, maintain the indentation bro cool not cool now cool okay so second step is we need to install our node not our node the community's node so install node and again i'm going to use another action which is already available in our github marketplace so just go to your documentation mm, look at this mm, this is setup node look at the description this action sets a node environment look at this the way you can use this this uses slash action slash setup node version 2 copy this one put it here maintain the indentation cool now under this action we can define the node version so with using the with keyword enter and tab node version actually you can see this in the documentation i guess mm, yep this node version 12 we're gonna use this one you can use node version 14 not a problem node version 12 put a space cool save this that is my second step ready and then the third step which is install the dependencies install again the name is optional or just say node packages cool in this step we want to run a command you know the command which is npm install or npm i in short cool that's it that's my third step and then the fourth step again just put a name which is again optional let's name this build so we want to build our product build cool again you know the command run npm run build cool that's my fourth step ready actually just put a space between these steps it will be easier to read cool and then the fifth step which is deploy to firebase so again put a name of this step which is deploy to firebase firebase cool and what we want again we want to use the action which is already available in our github marketplace exactly for this purpose so to use a github actions we need to use this users keyword and what is the name of the action let's search this mm, go to google hala madrid bro firebase github actions mm, go to the first link yeah this one look at the description the action for firebase tools enable arbitrary actions with the firebase command line client which we want mm, look at this it needs the firebase token which you already have configured and then it needs the project id project path which is optional look at this it is optional and how can you use this mm -hmm. yeah this one so it uses this w9 jds class firebase action at that master copy this remove the use put it here nice now inside this action we need to pass some data so with we need to pass actually some arguments so args with args cool so what is the args the argument is deploy only the hosting only the hosting service hosting cool and then it needs a firebase token so from the environment just grab the firebase token press a tab firebase token the name of the token this is available in secret so dollar you need to access this using dollar and two curly brace and the secrets dot the name of the token is firebase token so just copy this put it here and again guys if you have any problem inside this workflow file i'll put that workflow file in the description box so you can just check that out don't just copy that blindly just check that out what are the problems the only problem you should have the indentation okay so that's it yeah that's it we have the on we have the jobs now optionally we can pass a name inside this workflow file so at the top we can pass a name so name which is again optional let's say firebase deployment cool save this mm, let's review this we want to trigger this job on push to the main branch cool and what are the jobs we need to deploy so the deploy is the id it can be anything but it has to be unique okay the name of the job is build and deployment and the runner is ubuntu latest cool i'll also put the link of the documentation so you can just check that out okay what are the steps first one is get the source code into the container so for that i am using this github accents which is already available in our marketplace so you can use that using this uses keyword nice and then the second one is install the node 
again we are using an action which is already available in our github marketplace uses action slash setup node version 2 we can define the version using this argument with node version 12 nice the third step is install the node packages or install the dependencies using npm install then the fourth one is build the app using npm run build so that's it the fifth one is deploy to firebase we are again using an action from the marketplace pass some argument which is deploy only the hosting only the hosting service and then from the environment it needs the firebase token so firebase token it can access this using dollar and then curly braces so i think it should be fine save this go to a terminal so control j oh this one i need to talk about this warning so basically what happens inside this npm run build inside this npm run build if you don't pass a flag which is ci false it will accept these warnings as the error in that case it will not complete the steps so what you can do actually inside this build step you can pass a flag which is env from this en environment just make this ci false just give me a sec cool so what it does basically the ci is by default true it means the warning will be seen as the errors by putting this ci false it means the warnings are warnings this is not an error so we can go to the next step okay so just save this cool cls clear the terminal cool let's see i'm on the main branch i guess git branch i'm on the main branch cool so at this point i can push right just go to this environment file dot env this is our react app and guys if you remember i had a problem using this dot env file in our third part or fourth part i accidentally put that dot env file inside the source folder it should be inside the root folder and also check that if your .env file is mentioned in your .git ignore what happened with my voice i don't know so just mention this .env file so that you don't push this in your version control .env .git ignore close this one nice mm, at this point i can push my code so git add stage everything git commit what is the message ready for deployment ready for deployment enter nice git push that's it Oh, oh, I had a problem. Look at this. The spelling is wrong. It is GitHub. It is G-double-I-T. Wow. Come on, man. Yep, GitHub. Again, get all the code. Stage everything. Commit. Wait for, ready for deployment. Push. Nice. Beautiful. Just go to your GitHub repository. Click on this accents. You should see something. Yep, look at this. One accent is running. Click on this ready for deployment. Look at the job. This is build and deployment. This is the same job. The name is build and deployment. Look at this. This is build and deployment. So this is the same job. Click on this build and deployment. Look at this. It is for setting up the job. It is getting whatever it needs. And then the first one is get the source code, the first step. And then the second one is install the node. The third one is install the node packages, which is also completed. And now it is running the build. So npm run build. Mm -hmm. Nice. It is also built. And now this is deployed to Firebase, which is our last step. Done, 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 done. Look at this. This is deployed to Firebase completed. You can see your URL, which is your hosting URL, http slash notyt.webapp. And then this is a post process, which is something like clean up the container. So post get the source code. And then at last, this is completed job. So complete job, look at this build and deployment. It is completed and click on this URL, the hosting URL. Let's see. Uh, yup. Look at this. Login with Google. Click on an account. Yup. Look at this. Now every time you push the code to the main branch, it will automatically build your project and deploy to the Firebase. So no more manual stuff. Everything will be automated. So that's it for this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Like please, like look at this. This is 250 AM. So please hit the like button. Please show some support. And see you in the next video where we are going to refactor our code and wrap up our project. So that's it. Bye.